Welcome back. Last Thursday, 25-year-old Percival Paul was remanded into custody after he was accused of the shooting death of 34-year-old Valentino Bow outside a bar on Windsor Place Road and Soldier Road. That was around 9 p.m. on Monday, September 2nd. He was also charged with two counts of attempted murder as two other men were shot when the two gunmen emerged from behind a wall and opened fire on the group of men who were drinking outside a bar. 25-year-old Dontre Cooper also facing the same charges and was arraigned in court and remanded into custody a week before. Paul and Cooper, they will have their matters proceeded to the Supreme Court through a voluntary bill of indictment. There has been a lot of public discussions regarding police-involved shootings. Well, 14 police officers have reportedly been summoned to appear in court for a committal hearing on Wednesday, tomorrow, in relation to several fatal police-involved shooting incidents, including one officer involved in three separate shootings. No charges have been filed against the officers at this stage, but during the hearings, the officers are expected to learn that the files regarding each case will be forwarded to the Supreme Court for possible charges. The police-involved shootings are related to the deaths of Azario Major, Gino Finley Jr., D'Angelo Evans, Shenton Forbes, Harold Brown, Valentino Johnson, Richard Bastian, Elroy Stubbs, and Ernest Forrest. Meanwhile, last week, jurors in the coroner's court ruled that the police shooting involving a 21-year-old, 21-year-old Aliko Collins in Pinewood Gardens in 2017 was justifiable homicide. Collins was reportedly shot and killed when he and two others confronted the officer during an early morning walk on Bamboo Boulevard on February 8, 2017. The latest on the airplane crash that happened last week some eight miles off the western coast of New Providence. Questions have been raised over whether the pilot of the airplane was fully licensed to operate a commercial flight. However, the Aircraft Accident Investigation Authority says that other sources providing information relating to the crash may contain inaccuracies and that the public should rely on the proper authorities for official information regarding such incidents. The authority says it appears that the weather conditions at the San Andreas Airport at the time of the aircraft's approach would have provided very low visuals and that any operation in such conditions would require an appropriate instrument rating and thus the flight attempted to return to New Providence. Six people were on board the twin-engine Piper Aztec, which the pilot was forced to ditch into the ocean. Two people died. And finally, an historic building in the heart of Over the Hill, New Providence. The Reinhardt Hotel, which was designed and constructed by Dr. C.R. Walker and his wife Mabel Walker in the 1930s, played an important part in Bahamian history. It was one of the places that accommodated Martin Luther King during his visits to the Bahamas and was also the meeting place of the Progressive Liberal Party during the 1967 general elections, making it a key venue for planning in the way forward for majority rule. On Monday, the historic building collapsed. You are looking at video of the aftermath. Fortunately, there were no reports of any injuries as massive chunks of concrete fell onto the street at the junction of Blue Hill Road and Tin Shop Corner. Many people are questioning why more wasn't done to preserve the edifice. It appears as if water damage eroded the concrete, which finally gave way. At least one resident said his home sustained damage from the falling debris. And that'll do it for your JCN Evening News. Once again, I'm Jorino Saunders. Thank you so much for joining us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.